there friends, it's me Peter, and welcome back to yet another double feature on 25 Days of Christmas Reviews. First up, the Christmas movie I intended to review on Friday, which is actually a fairly recent Christmas movie that has kind of sort of become a Christmas classic. It came out 13 years ago during the holiday season, and I am of course talking about the British romantic comedy Love Actually. Love Actually follows an ensemble cast as they all go through the motions in the month leading up to Christmas. The movie starts out five weeks before the holiday, and then every week it picks up as you can see them as their lives evolve getting closer to Christmas. And all their lives go in different directions. One plotline follows an aging rock star who is trying to make a comeback by recording a remix of an old song just in time for Christmas. Another plot follows a man whose wife has since passed away, and he is now the stepfather to her son, who he's worried doesn't like him because he's the stepfather. And then there's the plot featuring a man who's an executive at a company, as his new secretary starts putting the moves on him, all while he tries to keep his seemingly happy family together. There are so many plot points in this movie that it's hard to keep track of all of them, and you could argue that is kind of a drawback to this movie, and that if you're not good at paying attention to multiple things going on at once, you might have a hard time following it. I was able to follow it pretty well. It took me a few times paying attention to who was who to get what exactly their plot was, but eventually I figured out everyone's respective plots and what went where and who went where and what was going on. Now going into this movie, I wasn't quite sure what to expect since, well, I'm not a huge romantic comedy fan. The problem is they all follow the same plot. You know, it's always, you know, someone's lovelorn, someone's brokenhearted, they meet someone, they kind of put the moves on each other, something happens to drive them apart, but you know in the end that they're going to get back together. And in a way, this movie kind of follows that plot except it's kind of with multiple people, and but they all don't have the same plot, and I mean, it's they all go in different directions with their individual stories. I will say, the movie was pretty funny. There were quite a few parts I found myself laughing, either because of the situation people were in, or because of something that was said. This movie also has an all-star cast, and when I say all-star cast, I'm not even kidding. Rowan Atkinson, Colin Firth, Bill Nye, Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, they're all in this movie, and they all do a pretty good job. My personal favorite was Hugh Grant, who was playing the Prime Minister. The only drawback to Hugh Grant's character is that, well, he basically plays Hugh Grant, the awkward guy who's looking for romance. Is that every movie Hugh Grant is in? Can you think of a non-romantic comedy he's in? I can't think of one. I think that's all he does. And admittedly, the plot points move a bit too quickly. I mean, here we're supposed to believe this is five weeks before Christmas, and all this stuff happens over the course of five weeks, which is basically a month, a little over a month. And, well, I would normally say that's not believable, and, you know, they're rushing things. This is a romantic comedy where you are supposed to suspend disbelief a little bit, so I'll give it a pass here. If it were any other movie, I wouldn't, but because this is played up for romanticism, I'll let it go. All things considered, I am really glad I watched this movie. I don't think I'd ever own it myself, or I don't even know if I'd ever see it again. But hey, if there was nothing else on, I wouldn't mind watching it again. Overall, I give love, actually, a 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching my latest Christmas review, my friends. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Christmas reviews, simply click that subscribe button down below. And wait just a few moments for my very next Christmas review. Until then, this is Peter saying see you later.